So I'm 24 and I have no idea what I want to do with my life. So a bit about me, I studied architecture at university and I graduated in 2021 and then I worked in London for a year and a half and then got let go from my job four or five months ago and since then I've moved back in with my parents. In all honesty I really didn't like the job that I was doing because I was just drawing like windows and toilets for clients and that kind of put me off the industry and to be honest the whole industry itself I felt was very saturated and uh, it was very different from studying architecture because we were taught to be very creative in architecture school and we had a lot of freedom in design whereas in the real world there's so many constraints you have to think about and everything but I also really disliked how the industry became very corporate uh, as in there were loads of like hierarchies within the company. I'm, I'm not saying that uh, hierarchies are bad necessarily, it's just that it wasn't the environment for me. Uh, so it was kind of a blessing in disguise that I kind of got let go because now I can pursue what I want to pursue, which is YouTube, which is content creation. So since I've moved back home, it's kind of been up and down. So some days I feel like, yes, I know what I'm doing. Other days I feel completely and utterly lost and I just feel like, you know, I'm into fashion, I'm into photography, I've always wanted to start a clothing brand, wanted to make it on YouTube, uh, want to become a fashion influencer, I'm really into music as well. So for me, I think it's quite hard to just pick one thing to go with it. And especially being a creative, like I said, I kind of want to delve into all of those in order to improve myself as a whole, if that makes sense. And I guess in turn, discover new things about myself. It's also important to talk about uh, the, the pressures within an Asian family, I think. Uh, for me, uh, there was definitely a lot of pressure growing up to pursue the traditional path, to get a stable career, stable income, to then buy the car, buy the house, provide for the family, provide for, your, for, for our parents. I think uh, Obviously it depends on what your parents are like, but I think even if there are parents out there who say that you know you can go ahead and, and, and pursue what you want to pursue, I feel like there will always be a bit of um, resistance against that. Just because they think that it's more risky, you're not guaranteed an income, you're not guaranteed a stable career um, but in our 20s you know I think it's important to try everything and this is 
the season where I'm trying everything out and I hope that sticking to this I can make a stable career out of it and have a stable income that'll be that'll be great so being creative and talking about hierarchies I think it's important to talk about imposter syndrome when pursuing the untraditional path it's something that I've struggled with myself a lot especially in the past few years because I used to care a lot about what people thought of my work and everything you know I'd hesitate to post on Instagram and even on YouTube but now I've learned to let go of that idea because at the end of the day it really doesn't matter what people think even if they hate my work, you know, I don't care, it's fine. They can just unfollow me. <laughs> so if you're currently experiencing imposter syndrome, or you're a bit directionless and a bit lost, just like me, but there is something you know that you want to pursue, whether it's like a creative project or a hobby that you've been putting off for a long time, you really want to do, I would say just do it. You know, in our in our twenties, I've been listening to a lot of podcasts, uh, but but in our twenties, you know, if we fail, we can just pick ourselves up again and try something else because we have the luxury of time. We have um, we don't we don't have the stresses that we would later on in life. So uh, to that, yeah, I say just do it. I want to thank you for watching this video. If you could subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, that'd be great. And I'll see you next week. Bye.